everyone welcome back to unicorn dust designs today in this video if you love shopping on amazon like i do and you love shopping at dollar tree then you're gonna want to stick around and watch this video and you guys with that said let's go ahead and get right into these diys so y'all this diy that i'm about to do is sold on amazon for 34.99 it has a five-star review and over 300 purchases so I, I just could not believe my eyes when i saw that this was 34.99 so i was like we are going to dupe this because we are not spending that much money so let's go ahead and dupe it okay so of course i thought i had three black books from dollar tree and i definitely didn't of course so I'm going to improvise and I am going to take my black folk art, it's rich black, chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the entire um, covers and bindings of the two red books. Now, make sure that when you close the books, you're still going to see that the red from the cover. And we don't want to see that. We want it to look like a finished product, right? Or... I mean, if you're into that Louis Vuitton look, I mean, you do you, girl, but I wanted it all black. So this is what I'm talking about right here. So like this part, you will see that when the book is closed. So go ahead and paint that up. Let me know if you're a book lover or not. I would never harm a vintage book, but these books, y'all, if we don't do something with them, they'll end up in landfills. So we, we might as well craft with them, right? All right. So once we're done painting, I'm going to take some removable white vinyl and I'm just going to measure this out, cut it with, what, what do you call these? A paper cutter, a scrapbook cutter? I don't know, but it's a cutter of some sort and gives you nice straight lines. So I am going to cut these. I'm going to cut three pieces and I just thought this might be an easier way than painting them, but if you do not have vinyl, Remember, Dollar Tree does carry vinyl now. Um, you can always use some painter's tape and then paint white bindings on. So now I'm just taking that vinyl, I'm gonna measure it up, and then I'm going to just wrap that around the binding of the book, and now we've created the, the Amazon look. Black book, white binding, super pretty. And I am going to do that with the other remaining books as well. Now for these books, I want to make sure that I am, um, sorry, I'm just like, why did you keep all of this in here? It's because you're amazing with editing. Okay. So this is going to be the bottom book. The bottom book I decided to coat with some Mod Podge because I think we know that when we use black chalk paint and then it like rubs against something, it leaves streaks. So I wanted to make sure the bottom one was coated. So now the bindings, y'all. Look at all of these options from Dollar Tree. All of them gold, just like our inspiration pick. I am going to take um, this hope. You guys, these like foil transfers from Dollar Tree are so easy to use. One, they stick right away, so watch out. But I mean, you hardly even have to rub these on and they go on flawlessly. So I was so happy I had these. Didn't have to cut any vinyl, just use transfers. All right, so now we're gonna hot glue these together. I'm only hot gluing on the black part, not the vinyl part, because I didn't want it to have the chance of peeling up on us. So as we stack those on top of each other, you're just going to add more glue, voila. Now we take some Dollar Tree twine, wrap that around as much as you want. I am going to tie this in, I'm just gonna tie it in a bow. You're not really gonna see it. And then we're gonna grab a, this is a eucalypt, no, a lamb's ear pick from Walmart from Christmas time. And I will um, tack some hot glue on the stem, like where it's underneath the twine so it doesn't move around. And of course, like our inspiration pick, we're gonna add some raw beads to our piece of twine. We'll tie a knot at the end of that. And then we got ourselves this cute book stack. And if I do say so myself, I like mine better because I like the different fonts on the binding. 
But y'all, I mean, look at how we got this amazing book at a fraction of the cost. All right, so with this next DIY from Amazon, it is, it's definitely more affordable at $20. It had a five-star review over, I think, three, two, 2,000 purchases. And you guys know me and my wood signs. We're gonna do this Dollar Tree status though. And I knew we could make this for way less. So let's make it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are ready. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? So we're gonna start with a canvas. So I just happened to be watching DIY by Jazz like today as I'm putting this video out. And she made a sign exactly like this. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is genius. So I knew I had to do it too. So as you can see, I just took a craft knife. I cut the canvas off. Dollar Tree does have smaller canvas sizes with the wood frame. So keep that in mind. This was just an old one that I had from like a painting party thing. And um, after I got the canvas off, I'm just gonna sand that down. After we're done with that, I take hazelnut and I spritz water on it. The frame was kind of rough, so I thought, you know what, I'll brush it on with a paintbrush, but it was going on too thick. So I decided to grab a baby wipe and I am just gonna go ahead and dip that in my little water paint combo. And I am gonna rub that on our frame and it gave me a perfect color. And I decided to go this route instead of like wood stain cause I wanted this to just be fast and quick. And y'all know this dries like super fast. So now that that's done and dried, I'm gonna take poster board. And I'm just going to put the frame on there, cut it out to size. And this is where I was like, why have I never thought to do this before? Like I was going to make this entire sign using foam board and Jenga blocks. And then when I saw her do this, I was like, how did you not think of this? So now I'm just laying it on the back of the frame and I'm trying to make sure I have the right size because you don't want any of that white poster board sticking out of your frame, obviously. Now, once that's done, just like we do with the reverse canvas, you're gonna get a stapler and you're gonna staple the um, poster board to the back. And this was even better than doing it with a canvas because you know how a canvas has the tendency to sag? This didn't do that at all. So huh, I, I wanna do like a designated video on like how many signs we can make like that. They look so good. And then taking this vinyl cutout that I made on my Cricut, I am just gonna lay that on there using this vinyl ease transfer tape, you guys. Amazing, it's not super sticky, so I had no residue and it did not rip my poster board whatsoever. And look at this. You guys, I've made a lot of wood signs, okay? And you cannot tell this is poster board. Like you. I didn't even expect to like want to put this in the house, but this is getting hung in the house. It looks so good. Let me know your thoughts on this one. This next DIY is a Mel organizer and it was $29.99 on Amazon. Had a five-star review yet again, over 2,700 purchases. And I knew exactly what Dollar Tree stuff we needed to make this. And I cannot wait to show you how to make it for way, way less money. Let's go ahead and get into it. So for this one, we're going to need three of these signs from Dollar Tree. They have been coming out seasonally. We are going to cut the top of it off. So you should be left with about 20 inches of your board. I am just, I measured it with my um, ruler. I scored it. And then now I'm just going back and forth over it with my craft knife until it's thin enough and breaks. Um, then with the 20 inches I have left, I am going to measure 10 inches. You are going to make four of these pieces total. So you could see measuring 10 inches and doing the same cut. Once you get those four pieces, I'm going to hot glue them at the seams I use my silicone mat so we don't get that hot glue all over our table. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. Voila, easy peasy. So you can see, no, wait, did we use three? Yeah, you only need three. 
three of the 10 inch <laughs> pieces. And then we're going to need our sides. So you're just gonna measure just like I am, mark it off with your pencil, and then you're going to cut the same way we did the other pieces by scoring it with your craft knife. You'll hot glue your ends together. Y'all, these are so easy. And like I said, fraction of the price. This ended up being like three bucks. Okay, and then once we are done with that, I am going to take my linen chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. I am gonna go ahead and coat the front and the sides. Once that dries, I'll do the other side. But then I'm gonna grab my wood graining tool. This is in my Amazon cart. And you just kind of like sway it back and forth. And do you see how it puts that faux grain on there? Exactly like the Amazon um, product. I love using this. It takes a little bit to, to get the hang of it, but practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and I'm gonna paint the rest of the box. Then I'm just gonna grab my decal. You could also use the black stickers from Dollar Tree as well and we are done and this you guys actually came out bigger so you can put magazines in here i mean there's a lot of things that you fit in here i mean this is like a big cheer magazine so let me know what you guys think about this one down in the description box all right, I just wanted to chime in real quick, say hi, my name is Sammy. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here with me today. I hope you guys are enjoying these Amazon dupes using Dollar Tree products. And y'all know the drill, if you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you're digging the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to like, cause it's an absolutely free way that you can help my channel out. And also make sure to check the description box down below. I have a awesome vlog channel. Um, I have TikTok, Instagram, all of that good stuff. So make sure to check it down below and let's go ahead and get right back into this video. So for this next wall decor piece, I actually have made this in a previous video, but I thought I'd share it again because it came out, I mean, it came out so good. And this one, you guys, also five-star review, but this one was $26. Now, ours is going to be on a smaller scale, just a little bit. And this one had 200, around 200 purchases. So let me show you how I made this one with Dollar Tree Supplies. I totally meant the comments in the last one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take the wood panels from Dollar Tree, six total. We are gonna paint these, The I think it was black, gray, and white, and then we're gonna use that wood graining tool again. Now, if you don't have this tool, you can simply just use a baby wipe and then black paint, and the wood grain from the black, or the wood planks will come through. So work smarter, not harder, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and paint all of those planks. Sorry about the angle coming up, but um, what I'm doing now, you need to drill four holes in each of your planks. And this is going to allow our twine to be bed through each of the planks. So after I'm done doing that, again, sorry about the angle, then we are going to put our decals on. Now, if you don't have a vinyl cutting machine, you can be super creative. Like I said, you can paint the stickers from Dollar Tree and do that. You could use your own handwriting. So there are other options that you can do instead of vinyl. Now, I have these all lined up. We're gonna take one piece of twine. So a very long piece of twine, okay? We're gonna feed that through. So you fed it through the back. Now we're gonna go over the top of the hole. So you can see right there. And then we're gonna go behind the second piece and then over. So you're gonna go under, over, under, over your six pieces. Now I had somebody ask in my original video of this DIY if the wood planks moved and they do not. I mean, you can move them if you wanted to, but once you kind of set them, they don't move. So I'm using my measuring mat right here to measure two inches between each plank. That way I know that they're nice and they're even. And then we're, you're gonna do the same thing going down 
the other side. You're going to come up from behind and then go over until you get to the bottom. Once, and then you'll see up top, sorry, it's kind of hard, but I left some extra twine up there so that we have something to hang this um, from. And then I just tie knots on the very ends and then we are done. And this came out literally looks exactly like the Amazon product. And the planks for a pack are dollar. Oh my word. Dollar Tree has been coming out with some amazing items. Shelves are one of them. I have been sitting on these shelves from Dollar Tree for a while now. I saw on Amazon this shelf that is, I think four, four and a half stars, has over 1400 purchases and it's $20.99. So not, not, not a bad deal, but I was like, I have those shelves and we are going to make this exact same thing for like two to four dollars. So let's get into this one. Okay, so I'm sure you knew we were going to use these shelves from Dollar Tree. Um, what we're going to do with these shelves, we are going to take the twine, or sorry, I think this is more like a jute cord. We are going to untie the knots off of one side, okay? You're going to take it off one of the shelves completely so you can see. This one, I'm gonna take it off. Then we are going to feed it back through. Remember, your knots are still there. We only undid the knots on one side. Now, I am a stickler and I'm like always thinking, how, how am I gonna get these like straight? How am I gonna get this even where it's not crooked when I hang it? So what I did was I took a ruler and measured 24 inches up on each side and marked it with a permanent marker. Now I know where I'm supposed to um, tie my knots so that when I feed that second shelf through, it's going to be an even height on each side. Now I know some of you are probably like, girl, this is like the, e like how can you even consider this an e like a DIY? But seriously, sometimes we don't even think of the most easiest projects using these things because I was at Hobby Lobby the other day. I almost bought one of these shelves for the baby nook and I was like, what am I doing? Like you're willing to spend $25 on this when you can seriously make it yourself at home for under $5. So in case there are some of you out there like me, here you go. So as you can see, I just fed the Jew through the second shelf now I'm tying um, a second set of knots, just, you know, added security here. Now, once I'm done with that, you guys, this is where like my mind starts like overtaking and I'm like, how do I hang this? At first I tied it just like that. And I was like, this keeps on coming out uneven. I was like trying to use a level on everything. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to put this ring on. I'm going to feed it through these two pieces of jute. Then I'm going to tie the back ones together and the front ones together and then use the ring to hang it. You guys, I don't know why I do the things I do. I should have just simply tied them together and called it a day. But in my mind, I was like, that knot is going to make it crooked when I like hang it on a nail. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I can't be the only one that makes things difficult. But in the end, look at how cute this turned out. I decided to leave it raw wood because like I said, I am going to be using this in the baby nook. So I didn't want to paint it brown like our Amazon um, product. But you guys, for two bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. So this next DIY, I couldn't help but like attempt to make it because it had over 2,800 like purchases, four and a half stars. Now it wasn't expensive. It was $22.99. So I could see why so many people have purchased it, but I was like, I know that there's a way that I can make it for less. So let's see what supplies I took from Dollar Tree to make this work for us and let me know how you think it turns out. So this is definitely an inspired by piece, you guys, but I knew I had to try it. So this is one of the oil pans from Dollar Tree. And I am taking my uh, wood burning tool and I am going to um, cut off 
there's like a little tab right here where you can hang the pan up. And then on the other side, there's like a spout for draining so you could pour the oil out. So I didn't want that lip on there. So I'm taking that cutting, the wood burning cutting tool, and I am going to cut that lip off. And then we'll kind of cover it later. So like I said, this was a far-fetched idea, but I had to try it, you guys. All right. So now I'm just going to sand the entire pan down. I thought it it would maybe help just like the hammered rust-oleum uh, stick to it better. So I did spray it with hammered by rust-oleum. Now it came out a little shinier than I like. So what I did was take mineral by uh, Waverly. I'm just taking my chip brush and then I'm stippling that on. I just, I wanted like a matte look like the Amazon version. I didn't, I wasn't liking this shiny brand new look that the hammered gave us, but it was a really great base. So after I'm done doing that, I went to the garage and I did cut a piece of scrap wood. And now that I have it measured in, what I'm going to do is take my screw gun. I'm going to take one screw and I'm going to push that through the side. So you'll see how it just kind of goes in easy peasy and then do the same thing for the other side all right there we go there she goes all right now to cover the lip of this so we kind of had to go rogue and do something different because of what i used but we're gonna add nautical rope so since this nautical rope is gonna show you guys i always cut my the ends of my nautical rope at an angle so you could see or you could have seen on the left it was done at an angle now we're going to go over this lip and it does cover it up quite a bit especially when it's hanging up and once we get to the end of our nautical rope because this is going to show we can't cover it up you can see right here it butts up perfectly and looks like one piece after I'm done gluing it. Like you can't tell that it's like the start and the finish of the nautical rope. So I always cut them at angles if I know that I can't cover them. All right. So now I'm taking my hot glue gun and I am just going to essentially melt holes into our plastic pan. And this is where I'm going to get some jute cord and I'm going to feed it through, tie it in a knot, and then do the same thing for the opposite side so that we have something to hang it with now. And like I said, does it look exactly like the Amazon one? No, but I mean, for let's say three bucks, I think, I mean, it could come like, you know, close. Let me know what you guys think. This would be something really cute for like an outside patio as well. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed these and I will be seeing you again on Saturday. Have a good one. So y'all, this first, uh, you're lucky you're handsome. Oh, now somebody's going to start mowing. Sweet. Okay. That's life. <laughs> Please, no stop. It's not necessary. This is hard. I'm trying different ways of doing these videos because nobody wants to watch them. <laughs>